Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this really good core build that I use for farming resources. Now, I only use this for farming resources. That's really what I really use. I only use Cora for anyway. So I know someone in my Discord did want to a just a pure damage one, but I only really use Cora for farming resources. Now I might make a damage one in a future video, but I just want to put this one out there because this is a really good build that I like to use. So for the as you can see in the background, we are literally putting our like resource and everything towards us, and we have the mag pull ability on our second slot for Ven for Cora. Now the reason why I got rid of Insnare instead of getting rid of Venari is because Venari can actually be really good because she can hit obviously the cat can heal us and that is just gonna be really useful in case we do go down on HP. Unlike the Insnare, I don't really use Insnare a lot because they're always going to be in the Strangle Dome. So if they're not in the Strangle Dome then then you're just not playing it right. So for the build what we did use is we did have accumulating whip claw just so we can get that extra damage because we do want to have that damage especially against steel path now if you're not on steel path then maybe you don't need to have this but if you're on if you are on steel path then this is a really good one to use we also had umbral and vitality so we did have as much um hp as we do now you can change this build up if you want this is a zero form of build and this is a guaranteed zero former because literally if you could see by my mods i have six mods slot left uh, if this goes up levels up to two and this can level up to two or you call four so basically this is a zero form of build as well now you can change this build up if you want to if you're liking but i just recommend definitely do having uh, efficiency range and duration as the main ones as strength you don't not really going to need strength as accumulating whip claw gives you a lot of damage bonus to your whip claw and also when you're using this build you want to have a stat stick well i'll show you the stat stick that we used so also we had Augur Reach and Stretch for our range and we also had Pilfer and Strangle Dome for the extra chance for drops. Uh, we had Streamline for Efficiency, Prime Continuity for our duration and Greedy Pull for our Augment on the pull. So basically what this does is adds a 100% chance to uh, pull or pick up pickups towards max. So basically we are always going to, all the pickups are going to 100% come towards us. So definitely a really good one to use. Obviously we just had Shepard because that's the one on there. Now, another ability that I was thinking on putting on here was uh, Protea's um, drop where you can get energy and or her resource drop thing. Now, I forgot exactly the name what it is, but I'll put a little text on screen when, I, when I, I'm editing this. But what if you do want to use this, you probably can swap this out for Paul because then you're basically going to be keep having energy and you're going to be keep be able to get your energy. Now, this build kind of is energy hungry, so I recommend do having like if you want to put a uh, flow on there or you want to or just something like that, just put like flow or whatever you would like to on there because it is very energy hungry. Um, we only have 188 energy and this does cost 17 a time. And then obviously you're going to keep putting the strangle down, what costs 70, and then you're obviously going to be pulling your resources, what costs 17. So they're not that bad, but you do run out of energy a lot. You probably saw me using my uh, energy pads quite a lot. So again, with the stat stick that we used, uh, kind of simple really. Blood Rush, Condition Overload, Organ Shatter, Sacrificial Pressure and Steel. Uh, Virulent Scourge, Drifting Contact, Molten Impact, so we get gas. Obviously you can change the stat, the... Um, so that depends on what you want and then you don't have to have condition on overload on here i just have it because i have i don't know what else to put on and you could probably put on like maybe like healing return maybe just whatever you want to put on now the reason why i do have drifting contact for that combo duration so we're not losing our combo quite often so that's the reason why we do have it on here so that's basically been it guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you do want to see any more of my videos i'm trying to uh, uh, upload more or less every single day Try my best too. And uh, yeah, that's been it. Peace out.